Many medical professionals are closely watching the delivery schedule for Pfizer's vaccine, with Cambridge-based Moderna's version set to go before federal regulators this coming week. Here's WBZ's Paul Burton. Now that Pfizer's vaccine has been approved by the FDA for an emergency use in the United States, millions of doses will be shipped nationwide to begin distribution immediately. Massachusetts officials say 60,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine will be available this week. This will be the largest vaccination effort in, in, in history. We're essentially trying to vaccinate as many people in the Commonwealth as we can in the next six to nine months. David Twitchell is vice president and chief pharmacy officer at BMC's health center. He says BMC is prepared to receive 1,950 doses of the vaccine on Monday. Training for people who are going to vaccinate. We have about two dozen pharmacists that are prepared to help. We have 10 nurses who are experts. They, they've done a lot of our flu vaccinations, so I'm, I have a lot of confidence in that group. First on the list to receive the vaccine are healthcare workers, treating COVID 19 patients, and nursing home residents. This is a tremendous moment. Uh, we've, our healthcare workers have been fighting through this since the beginning of the year. Neil Gilchrist is Chief Pharmacy Officer at UMass Memorial Medical Center, which will receive 1,950 doses this week. Health experts say proper and careful storage of the vaccine is critical. It requires very cold storage requirements down to minus 70 degrees for the Pfizer vaccine. And so there's specific logistical challenges with how this vaccine will be delivered to the hospitals and how we need to unpackage this and prepare this for administration to our patients and healthcare workers. Now that hospitals will start receiving the vaccine as early as Monday, the next big hurdles are dispersing it out strategically as the initial doses are scarce and also assuring both employees and the public the vaccine is safe is the challenge of overcoming vaccine hesitancy. We've got hundreds of years of well-earned skepticism uh, in the community that we serve that, that don't necessarily trust the, the medical industry. We're going to then do a better job of educating them and making people feel safe. In Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.